What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a Toxapex Saltine that is actually insane in online battles. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But back in Sword and Shield, Toxic Peck was the king of stall teams. It was amazing because it can land Toxics, it was bulky, and it has Recover as one of its moves. But in this game, Gudra is actually one of the top tier stall Pokemon. So now, we got both of them. We're going to put them both on the same team and see what we can do with them. But Toxpex is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview with Regenerator as its ability. So when we swap it out, it gets some more HP while it's in our party. It also has Binding Ban as its item with Infestation, Recover for some HP recovery, Substitute, and Baneful Bunker, which is a protect move that if they hit us, they will actually get poisoned. So pretty cool move. Definitely a really cool move, especially great on a stall team. In our second slot, we got Sinistra, a nice Pokemon that can heal up the squad when it hops into the battle. It's got that Hospitality as its ability and the Citrus Berry as its item. And moveset consists of Machigacha, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Rage Powder. In our third slot is another stall Pokemon. It is going to be Hisui and Gudra with Sap Sipper and the Leftovers as its item. It's got Heavy Slam, Body Press, Shelter for that plus two defense boost. And then last but not least, we got Life Dew for even more HP recovery on this team. In our fourth slot, we got Grimstrong. Great Pokemon, especially to set up screens behind a stall team. It's got Prankster with the Cobra Cloak, Rock and Spirit Break, Parting Shot, Taunt, and Light Stream. In our fifth slot, we got Iron Hands. Another Pokemon great for a stall team because it can fake out and allow other Pokemon to set up moves. It's got Quirk Drive and the Salt Vest, and its move set is Volt Switch, Strain Punch, Wild Charge, and like we already mentioned, Fake Out. Final slot is going to be Landers. Landers is good for two things. One, it can intimidate and lower attack, allowing our stall Pokemon to be a bit more bulkier on the field. And two, it's got Choice Scarf, and it can really be a great Pokemon to just clean up uh, opponents at the end of the matches. It's got Stomp and Cantrip, Terror Blast, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. Guys, you want to rent the scene for yourself? Rent the code is at top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Toxic Pack stall team. So guys, we are loading up into our first match, and as you guys can tell, we are on the casual ladder. And the reason I'm on the casual ladder today is because I'm actually really, really high on the rank ladder in Master Tier, and I really don't want to lose rank using a stall team that high, so figured I'd just bring it on the casual ladder and try to showcase it for you guys. And look what we're going up against. It's always fun to go on the casual ladder. So much fun, but we're still going to be trying to showcase this team to its fullest potential. But they got Hoopa, Arceus, Ogre Pond, E-Tran, Origin Palkia, and last but not least, Rillaboom. Rillaboom just seems so out of the picture, right? But it's kind of funny. It definitely is kind of funny. But what I want to do here is set up the stall. I think the stall is going to be absolutely amazing. We could go into a Pokemon like Grimstorm, maybe Parting Shot, kind of go from there. But maybe going into like Gudra or something like that could be also good. But you know what? I'm going to go into Iron Hands. I am going to go... Actually, no, we're going to save Iron Hands. I'm going to go into Grimstorm and I'm going to go into Gudra here. I am going to try to set up a nice lovely defense boost, put up a light screen, and kind of go from there. We'll bring Toxpex in the back end, and last but not least, we will go Iron Hands. Our plan here is to just stall out, right? That's our plan. That's our plan, especially up against all these legendary Pokemon. Should be fun if we could just set up some infestations, some poisons and whatnot, and just kind of just play it slow, right? <laughs> it's so much fun. I love stall teams. I love using stall teams. I hate going up against stall teams. They end up using two insanely OP Pokemon. Arceus and Hoopa. And why is Hoopa that big? That thing is massive. That thing, that thing is absolutely massive. But from here, a light screen is going to get set up for me. And nice lovely shelter, right? What typing are you, Hoopa? Are you psychic and dark? Yeah, you are. And you are just normal. You can be whatever typing you want, depending on what plate you hold. But yeah, I'm just going to set up a shelter. I'm going to set up a light screen and we'll go from there. This is definitely um interesting, right? A little scary. Definitely scary. So I'll set up the light screen. I feel like they have some OP moves that they want to use, right? Hyper Beam. That's got to knock it off. We got light screen up, and we're soaking that pretty well. So Arceus can't move next turn. Dark Bolt's going to come through here. We're soaking pretty well. Magician, you're going to steal my leftovers? That's a little absurd. I like those. I need those. I definitely need those. So that's going to happen, and from here, we're just going to Parting Shot out into Hoopa. Actually, you're Dark Typing. I can't do that. We're going to Parting Shot into Arceus here. At this point, I could just go for a Body Slam, Heavy Slam, whatever I really want. And I'm just going to go for a Body Press into the, uh, the Hoopa slot. 
just to deal some damage. I'm gonna party shot into Arceus. Arceus can't move, it actually just use Hyper Beam. And now it could be a solid turn to actually bring out the Pex. I could bring out the Pex. I am scared of the Psychic move coming in here, but I do have a Dragon Terror type. So it might force the Psychic move over here. And then set up like infestations and whatnot. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with bringing out the Pex. If I had to guess another Dark Pulse, it's probably coming into the Gudra slot. And now it's a solid turn to bring out the Pex. So Arceus is recharging here. Hyperspace Fury is coming out here. And I'm soaking pretty well, but I don't I don't know what else that move does. I feel like it does more. Defense is gonna drop. Body press coming out here and just getting rid of it. Awesome. See you later. See you later. I like that. I like beating up on legendaries. But Palkia's gonna come out here. And now it's the time to just like set up maybe infestation. And then maybe just kind of just like do get some HP back. Because Arceus, I'm not too worried about. We got Light Screen up. We already parting shot into it. It is minus one on special attack. And I believe these guys are all special attack Pokemon. So Judgment's going to come out here. Not doing a lot of damage at all. Alongside with Aurora Spear. Which Guja soaks pretty well. Soaks pretty well. Life Dude's going to come out here. We're going to play some slow. We're going to start setting up the infestations. Get the, the bugs and the bees on out here. Get everything going. So there's infestation. Beautiful. Does about one damage. But, but, after it turns, look at that. Oh, it just, just hurts your ears. It just hurts your ears. But it's doing damage. So from here, we're going to infestation again. And you know what? We're just going to set up a nice little uh, life do again. Get some more HP recovery going. Get this stall team cooking. Nothing better than just setting up a stall, right? Always fun. It's always fun. It's always fun. It's even, it's even more fun when, uh... When you're doing it up against these guys, these legendary Pokemon. So Light Screen's helping us out. This thing's doing like no damage. Power Gem coming out here. That's gonna that might hurt a little bit. Not too much. Light Screen's definitely helping us out. Life Dude coming out here. Give us all that HP back. Give me all that HP back. So I'll get back a bunch of HP. We're gonna set up an infestation here. And we'll kinda just play it slow. I mean, I'm not worried about the Arceus, especially with it so low on HP. Pretty much just thrive out here. Look at that, yo. Bugs just doing them dirty. It's doing them so dirty. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna set up a substitute. We might as well set it up and then maybe just go into like a body press. I'd rather actually just start KOing Palkia more so than Arceus because look how much damage Arceus is doing. It's literally doing nothing with Light Screen and the minus one on special attack. So they're gonna double down into Guja. Guja's soaking pretty well here. I wish I still had my leftovers, but Hoopa took it. Body press comes out here. Chunking up some nice damage. And Pex is going to set up a substitute. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. And then the bugs and the bees and stuff. Infestation. I'm going to keep chunking up damage. And I think Binding Band makes it do more damage, which is amazing. It really is. So Light Screen's gone now. Kind of hurts that it's gone. And... I'm just going to Baneful Bunker here. Do I Life Do? I probably want to change into this typing and actually just get rid of Arceus. So now's the perfect time to actually thrash slice because the combination of Aurora Spear with whatever move Arceus is using does a decent amount of damage, especially now that Light Screen's off. So if I can change my typing and be neutral to fighting type moves, that could actually work out perfect for me. Work out perfect. So we're going to need Gujar for one more turn here. Try to land this body press, take it out. Infestation could just finish off the Palkia. And this is just a prime example of uh, of this stall team going to work. Love it. Hey, you have recover. You have recover. I have that too, but um, I got a big time body press coming after you. You gonna roar spear in me again? Yep. Saw that from a mile away. We're able to soak really well. Body press coming in hot here. Bang. Big time damage. So you shouldn't have to recover again, you know? You're definitely gonna have to recover again. Oh, that's some big damage. That is some big damage. The bees just going crazy. <laughs> the bees are just going crazy. So if Arceus doesn't recover, it dies out to the infestation. I think we just set up an infestation on the right slot. And do we body press into Arceus again? We might want to. Ogre Pond comes out here. We have substitute set up. This is a perfect time for infestation to come out. 
and we'll do that. And I mean, I think we just body press into Arceus just in case it recovers here. You never know. But he's going to put on the mask. That's totally fine. As long as I get off this infestation, I can pretty much stall out the rest of the match. Because then I can come in next turn. I can fake out with Iron Hands and then eventually protect. And kind of just take it real slow. Take a hit then protect. Kind of just keep going that way. Only just give him HP back. But again, I feel like we're very, very fine. Especially with our, uh, with all of our Pokemon that we have. And he went, oh yeah, we got Sap Zipper. And he went for that move right there. That's hilarious. He just went for a grass move into my Sap Zipper. We soaked that up all day. So Body Press probably KOs you, right? Yeah, Body Press is going to KO. That's exactly why we went into that. And then we'll set up an infestation. So Toxic Pack Salting. Remember I used one over in, uh, back in Sword and Shield when the game first came out? And you guys loved it. You guys loved it. That's when I first started uploading Pokemon content. But Toxic Pack Salting, I feel like everybody loves it. It's just so much fun. The infestation still didn't work. I'm just going to send another infest. Actually, I'm going to painful bunker here in case you want to go into the grass move. And then I'll just go for a body press here. Pretty easy. Let's go for a spiky shield. That's fine. That is fine. That's fine. Peck still has the what's going on him. The substitute. And you protecting, you're honestly just going to take more damage than, than anything. Infestation is still here. Just just being bugs and bees, right? Yeah, the bugs and the bees do the work. Love this move. Gucci's gonna take a little bit of damage to Spike Shield. But this noise, man. Kinda get used to it after a little bit. After you just put it on all our Pokemon. So from here, um, I guess I'll just infestation again, right? Or I could sub up again if I wanted to. Just body press. I'll go for an infestation here. He goes for an Ivy Cudgel here. He's gonna go after my Toxapex, and I was going to set up another sub suit, but I mean, there's really no point. I'll just be in full bunker next turn. Good old substitute helping us out here. Soaking up that shot. We're back here. We take no damage. Body press coming in hot here, and that's just going to finish off this match. So Toxapex and Gudra absolutely killing it in match number one. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to try to do the exact same thing. Second match on its way, and look, we're going up against more legendaries. Actually, a little less legendaries, but they still have Arceus and Mewtwo. Always fun to play on the casual ladder, because you get a bunch of off-meta and cool Pokemon. They got Pikachu with a hat on. Love it. Assuming Samurai, and then Heatran and Robum, which are two Pokemon that are within the meta right now. So, again, we're going to try to stall out, showcase his team a little bit better here. But, uh, who should I lead here? I kind of like Grimstar. I mean, Light Screen is going to be great up against both those legendaries if they decide to bring it so i'm gonna end up going into grimstarl and i think i'm just gonna go gudra again just try to get things set up right because i can go gudra pex and sinisha which is really not that bad because what do you got sinisha you got rage powder you got calm mind with shadow ball i don't mind that i don't mind that i don't mind that because we're trying to go full full on we're trying to go full on stall here because i don't have iron hands i don't have <laughs> landers we're going full on stall Looking to try to get after it that way. So, hopefully. We'll see what they want to go into here. But if they go into Legendaries, we're just going to set up that Wall of Light screen. We're going to probably try to set up a Shelter just to get that Defense boost and that Damage boost uh, for our uh, Body Press. And everything will work out fine, but they end up going into these two. Um, okay. I see you. I understand. I'm still going to set up Light screen, and I'm just going to Thrash Slice. And do I Body Press turn one? Or do I shelter boost? I'm gonna shelter boost here. Nice lovely shelter boost. So I'll end up Terrasalizing Guja, just changing his typing. I understand that Pikachu's an electric type. I understand that. I totally understand that. But with this light screen up, Guja should not be taking too much damage. Let's just go in Terra, Bolt Tackle. That could be a little bit of an issue. So we'll light screen up. We'll do all this good stuff. And the Sacred Sword is going to come over here on the Gudra, which is the reason I Thrasalize. Thunderbolt's going to fly in the Grimstarl, and that's a... Oh, that's a crit. I was going to say, that's a nice chunk of damage. So from here, we're going to get the Shelter Boost out. So we get the Shelter Boost, we get the Leftovers. I think now's the perfect time to just Parting Shot into Pikachu. And maybe just take it out. Because I can't Parting Shot into Samurai. I can't. I simply cannot. I'll just take out Samurott, to be honest, because if Pikachu has Light Screen out, and it's going to be minus one on Parting Shot, I think now's a perfect turn to get out either Pex, or maybe heal up. Might be a good turn to maybe heal up Gudra. 
But Pikachu's gonna end up terrestrializing. He's gonna go straight electric. This is where things get scary, right? We might have to go into Sinister just to get back some HP here. And then maybe Rage Power the next shot. So the party shot comes out here. We're gonna put you minus one. I think we do heal up. I think we do heal up with Sinister. Because you gotta be going after Guja here. You have to be going after Guja. And if we could just try to get rid of Pikachu here, that'd be the play. So I'm gonna go into Sinister. I'm gonna heal up the Guja back to full HP. Just not, not trying to risk anything. And he's gonna go for a Sacred Sword, which is actually going to not affect Sinisha. So that's good. Thunder's gonna come out here, and we dodge that anyway. Beautiful. Even better. So we get off free turn. We're back to full HP. Body Press is going to finish off Samurai. Get it on out my face. So now that we got you going, I can probably just Rage Power this shot and Body Press Pikachu. Right? Makes the most sense. Arceus now comes out here. Yeah, Rage Powdering these shots is definitely our best play. Rage Powder, Body Press into Pikachu. We're not trying to deal with the Thunders. Understand we have it low on Special Attack, but still. Still, Pikachu probably has the uh, the Light Ball too, giving it an extreme damage boost. So that's something we really don't want to mess with. So I'll do that. He's going to go for a Future Sight, which is pretty strong move. Really strong move. He's going to wait a couple turns. Thunderbolt's going to come out here. And it's going to go over to this slot. And how much damage is this going to do to you? Pretty much nothing, dude. We're just soaking that. Body press comes out here. Pikachu. Bye-bye. Oh, but we get paralyzed. And this dude turns off his console. Come on, man. Stall teams. Very annoying to be going up against. A lot of people will quit on you. But it's a lot of fun to use. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0. Let's go hop into our third on the casual ladder. Look to use Tox Specs a little bit more. Final match coming at you guys for today's video. We're actually going up against a pretty normal team. They got a lot of cool Pokemon. Some Pokemon with Synergy. They got Zumarill, Lucario, alongside me, Ascarada, Palmot, Armourouge, and Gallade. Um, I think Palmot could definitely be a lead here. And I think from here, they have a lot of physical attackers. So Gujra's actually not going to be bad. But something that we got to watch out for is Flower Trick. We do have Sap Zipper on him, which is perfect. So I think everything is going to work out in our favor. So I'm going to go Gujra here, turn one. And I'm also going to lead it with the Iron Hands. Do you have Volt Switch? You do have Volt Switch. That's really good for us. I'm going to go Iron Hands. And I'm also going to go, go into Pex and Sinistra. So we can fake out turn one. We could potentially set up a shelter. Um, we could eventually Volt Switch out. Maybe in the Sinistra for HP recovery on our Gudra. Or we could just go straight into the Pex and start trying to set up Infestations. But we're 2-0. Oh. It's so much fun using Salt Teams. It's always a blast. It's always a blast because it's something that you don't use too often. So it's a lot of fun, especially when you're winning with them. But they end up going into these two Pokemon, which um, I don't mind. I can fake out turn one. And the real question is, who do I fake out? Probably the, uh, the Miyash Karate, right? And I set up the shelter. Yeah, it's definitely going to play. You could go into a play rough into my Iron Hands. I'm not too worried about that. We could soak pretty well. But eventually, I'd probably just Volt Switch next turn, right? Yeah, I'm definitely Volt Switch next turn. I have to set up the shelter. Is Sui and Gudra always a problem? It's always a problem. We do have Assault Vest on our Iron Hands, which is great. A lot of people rock Assault Vest onto Gudra. But I feel like Leftovers works just as well. But Fake Out gives us the flinch on turn one. We're going to set up the shelter plus two on the fence, which is massive. Two big time physical attackers out here. And Miyaskarada can't use, uh, can't use Flower Trick on us. So, we'll soak up that, no problem. Do I set up another shelter? I think I just get rid of Miyaskarada here. I think I just go body press, and then I volt switch into Pex. Into the toxic Pex. So I'll go for volt switch. I will go for this lovely body press to take out, take out Miyaskarada, and we're really hoping, fingers crossed, for flower trick into, no, never mind. He's gonna go for player off. I was gonna say flower trick into the Gudra. So, player off comes out here. Then Gujra goes, we get rid of Mayaskarada. Massive, massive. I think another player off is going to drop here into the Iron Hands as well. And we actually outspeed this Pokemon. So, Volt Switch going to chunk up a little bit of damage. And we can get out Pex here. Which, Pex is a great Pokemon, especially going up against Fairy types. Go ahead, Pex. Get on out there. So, now I get to bring out the Toxic Pex. I can start Life doing to set up Infestations. We could start doing that. And that might have to start being a play. Because there's player off, and we soak that all day long. All day long. So Pex is a perfect typing, especially going up against Azumarill, so I'm not too worried about that. 
But depending on what their next Pokemon is, that could be a little bit of a threat. I do have Baneful Bunker. I do have Infestation. I could recover some HP. But Armor is going to come out here. And now is a perfect time to actually just Terrasilize the Pex. So we're going to Terrasilize just so we don't take big damage to Psychic. And I'm going to set up an Infestation on the Armor. Because chances are, if I had to guess, like, Expanded Force, Psychic, some sort of Psychic move is coming after the pack. So, Terrasilizing it could really help us out. Definitely benefits us. We can really get thriving from there. Cool. And then probably Player Up or whatever is going to go after Gudra. Which I'm not, I'm not too worried about the Zoomerel at all. Because this is what I'm thinking uh, we're going to do. I'm thinking we're going to Terrasilize here in Dragon Typing. We're going to get off our Infestation. And then, since we're Dragon Typing, the Zoomerel is going to play rough my Toxapex next turn. And then I'll set up a Baneful Bunker. It's going to hit into me. We'll get the poison. We'll get all cooking from there, right? Sounds pretty nice. Sounds pretty lovely. So Life Dude's going to come out here. We're actually outspeeding both of them. And uh, we'll get that nice level HP recovery. Put Gooch up to full. Probably put Toxapex up to full, too. It does. That's beautiful. And there's the Expanded Force. This is exactly why I terrasilize. Just not dealing with that. I'm just not dealing with that. Giga Impact. You doubled down into me. And I survived that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I believe you can't move next turn after that. So Infestation gonna set up the bugs, all that good stuff. Um I could life do here. Or I could just swap and get some regenerator action going. That might more so be my play. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shelter here, just to get the defense boost up, and I'm just going to drop a baneful bunker. See what kind of plays out here, right? Yeah, all day, all day. Let's just let's just read out our options. I do have recover, and now might have been the turn to drop it, but expanded force would KO us. But he ends up terrasilizing. The armor just gets terrasilized. Uh, Azumarill can't really attack this turn. That's a bad typing to go into. Why would you swap now? Body pressing just rip up into you. So fire terror, painful bunker coming out here, putting up that spiky shield. I'm probably gonna swap pecs next turn, but we got infestation on him, which is great. And actually, does that take off infestation? I feel like there's a hot chance that it does, right? Armor cannon coming out here. Yo, you better chill. You better chill on me. <clears throat> you better stop that. That's some big damage. That's a bit too much damage. So they got the defense drop. The bugs and all that are going to do some work. Um, do I life do here? Could definitely life do. I could definitely life do. Or I could just body press. Hmm. Yeah, now's a perfect time to swap pecs. No doubt in my mind. Now's a perfect time to swap pecs. We swap pecs. We get some HP for Gudra. Then we have regenerator ability. We're back up to HP in the party. It's just a perfect time to swap pecs. So hospitality gonna come out here. Give me that 25% HP boost. Lovely. Body press coming out here. Gonna probably finish you off. Awesome. And chances are Azumarill might be going for Giga Impact into the Toxic Pec slot, which is now Sinistra. And we can just dodge that. Now you go for play rough. That's fine. That is totally fine. I got Citrus Berry out here. So Citrus Berry going to clutch up. Um, And yeah, we can pretty much just slow things down. And kind of just stall out this battle, right? Ton of HP recovery. I could throw Macha Gacha. That will do some damage onto the Azumarill. And whatever Pokemon comes out in this left slot, I mean, Body Press should be able to do an, like, a lot of work on them. We're plus four on our uh, defense now. Come on, man. Yo, Salt Team is where it's at. Absolutely killing it on the Casual Ladder Day. I understand it's Casual Ladder, but it's always fun to hop on here every here and there. Hopefully, you guys still do enjoy the video. Because I think I'm, like, top 800 now in the Master Tier. And I was thinking... I was thinking of... I'm not sure. I was thinking of just, like, pushing uh, by myself later in the day. So, didn't want to hop on the rank. Kind of just lower that rank. I'd rather use, like, a meta team, especially that I'm that high. But uh, Glade's going to come out here, and I still think Body Press is just going to do an insane amount of damage. So I'll use Body Press with uh, Machi Gacha. I think we should be fine here. Still have the Pecs in the back end. We still have Iron Hands. Everything. This is just... This team is just amazing. I love it. Especially Toxapex, man. 
Attack Spikes is just crazy strong. And it's just so much fun using it, considering, like, you don't use it that much in Scarlet and Violet. I said it in the beginning of the video, like, it's a... It was a Sword and Shield King of Stall. But now with Gudra in here, Gudra kind of getting some work done. Or I should say early stages of Sword and Shield, because once the meta came out with, like, Zassy and all that, it was just a threat. But of course, Sacred Sword gets a crit. That's not a crit, that's just killing me. Okay, that's fair. That's just killing me. And Machi Gacha gonna come out here. How much damage is this gonna do? Actually, it does a lot of damage to uh, Zoomerel. We're gonna get back uh, all of our HP, too. Cool. Awesome. And now, player off drops again. And from here, it's pretty simple just to bring out Iron Hands, right? Yeah, it's gonna be real simple just to bring out Iron Hands. And obviously, I could fake out. But I think the play is just going to be go Wild Charge. And then just another Machi Gacha. Easy place for us. Easy place for us. Could have faked out the Glade and then send Machi Gacha, but really no point of us faking out when your Sinistra is outspeeding the Zoomerel. And actually, I think our Iron Hands outspeeds the Zoomerel. That's big time. I don't see Glade being able to KO without a crit. But I guess we'll see. Again, we still have Toxic Specs in the back end if we just want to play late game stall. I can always hit that recover button. I am Terran and Dragon, which is kind of in the win at this point, but still. It was more for just like a one-turn play. But Sacred Sword is going to come out here, and that Sacred Sword is doing an absurd amount of damage. A bit too much damage. But it's totally fine. Machigachi is going to bring this thing down to about half. Take out the Zoomerel, and then, uh, yeah, I think Iron Hand should just be able to finish this off with Wild Charge, correct? I believe it is correct. And Machigachi actually gives back a decent amount of HP. Especially with this build, if you can set up a Calm Mine, get that special attack boost, yeah, you'll get back a ton of HP. But there's Wild Charge. That's going to finish off the match. I'm actually going to die out the recoil damage. But hey, it's all good. 3-0, perfect record for this Toxapex stall team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Showcasing the Toxapex stall team to its fullest potential. Had an absolute blast rocking out with it on the casual ladder today. Like I said, these were casual battles. So hopefully you guys still did enjoy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.